Chef Rhonda here again. Welcome back to Carrie Louise's Kitchen. Today I'll be preparing for you stew fish and cuckoo. This is a complete meal that goes really well together. It's very popular throughout the Caribbean and we in Trinidad cook it sometimes when we want to get away from the traditional meat and rice dishes. So we will cook this sometimes and you know it's a nice change also. They pair really well together and it's very much filling also. So please follow me along and I will show you exactly how to prepare this. Okay guys, so we're gonna get started with our cuckoo first today. And I just wanna give you a quick rundown of what we're gonna be putting in this cuckoo. The first thing I have here is some cut up okra. I have about a cup of coconut milk. Also have some chopped together pimentos and garlic. Some adobo for taste, for sodium. And last but not least, a little bit of Carrie Lily's famous green seasoning. And we also have the main thing for the cuckoo, which is the cornmeal, okay? So I just wanna show you these ingredients and we're gonna get started right away. Okay, so we have the water preheated already. So we're gonna add our all of our ingredients. and kingfish and we have our flour here we're gonna coat the fish with the first thing we need to do for this is fry the fish so we're gonna get started on doing this okay and again we will be using kingfish today so we're gonna start coating our fish we have our oil preheating already Put the cornmeal to soak in water, and this actually helps to make it easier when we put it to boil. It makes it a lot easier to stir and makes it more manageable. Okay guys, so this is our final product of our cuckoo. It smells great, and as you can see, it formed really nicely in the dish. But I do want to tell you one error that I've made today. When you're cooking the cuckoo, it's much better to put it in a shallow pot instead of the deep pot that I cook it in. It gave a lot of problem when I was stirring it, and that can create some issues if you have it in such a, a deep pot, okay? So that's just a quick note when you try this dish, okay? Thank you. Okay guys, so we're gonna create our gravy now for the stew fish. 
we have already drained out most of the oil that we fried the fish in, but we have to leave a little bit there, and that's what's gonna give us our gravy. And the next step we're gonna do is the seasoning left over from the fish. We're gonna put this in. And basically let it fry down with the fish. That's what actually is frying up right now in the oil. And we're gonna save the seasoning gravy, the seasoning, the, the juice that we seasoned the, the fish with, we're gonna save that for the gravy. But we're first gonna let this fry down a little bit. And the only thing we're gonna need to add in this is some ketchup, which I'm gonna do right now. And the ketchup helps to make the gravy a little thicker and just helps it to fry them really nice, as you can see, you know? Okay, and now we're gonna add the gravy from the fish. Okay guys, so I added some more water in the, in the same pan the fish gravy was in along with a pepper. The pepper is really just for flavoring, but if you want it to be spicy, feel free to pop it. And we're just gonna add the water in. And we're also gonna add our fried fish in as well. Now we're gonna put some of our sliced fish in there, or fried fish. And the only thing you should need to add in this is possibly the, um, some, some more adobo or salt, but it should have everything based on the way you season the fish. If you season the fish properly, you shouldn't be adding in much more of anything to it because the fish should basically have everything, the gravy. Okay, so we're gonna let this simmer a little bit and just boil down with the fish. And we're gonna cover it. Okay guys, so this is our final product of our stewed fish. It smells amazing and I'm sure it tastes great. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe.